Hi, in this tutorial we're going to cover how to use the dashboard computer display system, so the Carbonite dashboard display, uh, to connect to our Carbonite so that we can transfer files to and from the system. Uh, now you can just plug this in, there's USB ports on either side of the dashboard display, uh, making it easy to connect. So go ahead and plug that one in. And now my USB drive is plugged in. Uh, we're going to get out of full screen mode here, right? Uh, and I'm going to open up my USB. So I'm just going to drag that over to the right hand side. Now here, what it is, I've got a bunch of stills that I want to get onto my Carbonite so that I have access to them. So I want to drag that entire stills folder onto the Carbonite. So what it will do first is we'll go ahead and we'll look at my computer. Uh, I don't need that typing right now. And I'm going to drag this over to the side. Now, we could navigate via FTP, but it would be a lot better if we permanently attach it so it's available as a location. So we're going to right click on computer and we're going to map a network drive. So you can pick any drive letter you want. I'm going to use the letter S for switcher. So connect to a network location and specify it. So it's FTP colon forward slash forward slash and then the IP address. So 10.62.141.1. This of course is the IP address of my switcher not necessarily the IP address of your switcher. So we're going to click next and we don't want to log on anonymously because there is a username called user and a password which is password uh, that we have to enter. But I will give it a name for this location so we'll call this Carbonite VS and I click next and yep we want it to open when we click finish and of course it is going to prompt me for the password, so I'm going to put in password and I'm going to click on the save password for future, uh, future use. So we click next. So now we have this new network location and on the side it's permanently there. So it's going to show me all of the folders that are currently in the media. Uh, in, in RAM and if there's a USB connector it will connected it will show up down below as well so I'm gonna click on USB I can now navigate that USB I can see my software that's in there I can see switcher location uh, the switcher location is where we put things like logs and our file sets this is also a easy way to be able to go in and add custom folders so I want to have a less demo setup so I can just create a new folder and type in less demo vs. Now this folder name will now show up on the control panel. So when I select save, I can now scroll the knobs and instead of just having set 0 through set 9, I'll now be able to see less demo vs. Also, if there's an existing file set that was saved to, you could always rename it. And we could call this, for example, default VS setup. And now it has been renamed. And now set zero is free again uh, and available to be saved to. And now it'll show up as default uh, VS setup. So let's go back up to USB uh, since we just deviated a little bit. But let's go back up to the USB and I see my captures folder. So if I wanted to say capture things on the switcher and now drag them from the switcher onto my USB drive or even onto the local uh, Carbonite dashboard display panel. But since I want to transfer, I'm going to grab the stills folder. I'm going to drag it over. I'm going to drop it and the transfer is going to begin. And I can see my transfer is taking place and it's loading all of that information. Uh, all those stills, animations um, that are in the stills folder. Well, there won't be animations. I have a separate folder for animations, so these are just stills. Uh, Targa, JPEG, PNG, 
Uh, bitmap, these formats are all supported. Um, target and PNG will even support with alpha, and you can set whether it's a shaped or unshaped or additive or non-additive key. Uh, but that's part of the, the media manager. So now, while it's transferring these items, if we just go into our dashboard, right? let's go back to full screen, let's go to our media manager. Now what you see is there is a folder called stills under the USB. I click on it, and those stills are all starting to be loaded in. Now if I take one of these stills, and we put it into our channel, so we'll put it into channel three by queuing it, it's now going to load that into RAM cache and place it. Once the transfer is complete, the system is also going to go through and it's going to create thumbnails for all these images. Because it's still in the midst of copying right now, we are going to just have to slowly wait before we're able to get our, our thumbnails. So it's about 60 seconds more to go. Um, in that time, we might as well talk about what else you can get via this FTP location. So one of the neat features about Carbonite is that it supports Live EDL. Live EDL allows me to create as run of my switcher, creating a, a standard EDL file that I can then easily access. So you can save the EDLs to the USB drive and then they would be under USB under EDL files. Or you can simply get them directly out of RAM, out of flash, and they would be stored on there as well. So as you can see, very easy to use. Media channels. You can also directly drag and drop files onto the media channel. Um, and this will take that still and load it directly into the still store output. Uh, this is useful if you want to set up your own little drag and drop direct to channels or build your own little application. Um, also, mnemonic upload and download folders. Those are for routers. When I'm using a Carbonite Extreme, I can load the mnemonic uh, tables into the folders, and, and that's where the switcher is going to source the mnemonics from uh, when you make router switches. So as we can see, the switcher is going through now, and it is updating all of those thumbnails. And if I wanted uh, this driftwood, I could just drag, drop it, and it loads it into channel three, and I get, uh, I get its thumbnail as it starts loading it. You can also now control what the media ID number is. So it auto assigned it to number five. If I didn't want number five, uh, I can change it here. So as you can see, very easy to use. Makes it real simple to access your media, uh, to access your stills, um, and be able to just plug in here, transfer across, um, or bring back from the switcher. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If there is anything we can do to help you out, please don't hesitate. Send us an email at switchers at rossvideo.com uh, with some ideas of what you'd like to see from us next. Okay, thanks a lot.